So it's uh, Sunday the 3rd of July. I was out in the garden watering uh, what's down here which is where I'm trying to grow some uh, some fungi and having a little bit of success but I was a little bit surprised under the, uh, the bark here that I seem to have found a population of wood lice. Now we'll go in and have a look in a second but the wood louse is an isopod crustacean it's got a rigid, segmented, long exoskeleton and 14 jointed limbs. Now the exoskeleton must be progressively shed as it grows. And the molt takes place in two stages. The back half is first lost and then followed by two or three days later by the front. This method of molting is uh, very different to that of most other arthropods which shed their uh, cuticle in a single process. Now let's see if we can go in a bit closer. So I'm just going to gently lift my bark and have a look at this colony. Now there's quite a few in there, so you've got, I can see at least three, four, five, six, seven, there's eight, and quite a few babies. If I come in a bit closer, can you see those smaller babies? Just put them into the middle of the camera shot there. So you have got some smaller ones. I think as well what's amazing about these wood lice is they've got some amazing shells. When I look, Go right in close there. They've got uh, a lovely pattern on the shell. We'll go out a little, further down the log. There's quite a few different different sizes as well. So the female woodlouse, she uh, keeps the fertilised eggs in a marsupium on the underside of her body until they hatch into offspring that look like small white woodlice curled up into balls. And I think when we look, if I just go in a bit closer, you can see a baby one there. There's two actually, isn't there? Sort of scurrying away because they don't like the light. Now, the mother appears to give birth to the offspring, but females are also capable of producing asexually, which is quite a different thing for us. And despite being crustaceans, like lobsters or crabs, the wood lice are said to have an unpleasant taste to eat, similar to strong urine. Now, living in a terrestrial environment, the woodlice breathe through trachea-like lungs in their paddle-shaped hind legs or pleopods, called pleopodal lungs. Now, woodlice need moisture because they rapidly lose water by excretion through their cuticle, through their shell. So they're usually found in these damp, dark places under rocks or logs. And they're usually nocturnal and they're detritivores, feeding mainly on dead plants or matter. So. It's not Friday physics fun, but it's Sunday, in the garden, a little bit of biology. Now, as all good scientists, what we need to do is put that log back. We'll just put it down, back where it was, in its little habitat. I think there are still more under there. I'm just going to leave that log just to slowly, slowly degrade. I think you probably can't quite see, but here, I've actually got some really quite interesting fungi. Try and zoom in a little bit. Let's go down and zoom in this little area. So you probably can't see very well but they're just right down here. Look at these ones here. Very unusual shape because it's quite a wet corner of the garden. So animated science and we've been looking at the common woodlouse.